top brass have opened the doors to their controversial soldier school for children now the target of the army's biggest ever abuse case The son was given unique access to the Army Foundation College, Harrogate, where uniformed 16 and 17 years old junior soldiers are paid pounds 1k a month to learn warfare Next week it will be under intense scrutiny as court-martials begin against 17 former college instructors over alleged mistreatment of young recruits On Monday, 10 will face trial, with more cases scheduled in the coming months. They are accused of kicking and punching cadets and smearing their faces with sheep and cow dung during a military exercise All the accused who are understood to include decorated Afghanistan and Iraq veterans, deny the charges The alleged victims were aged 17 when the alleged abuse happened in 2014. Now top brass are determined to prove the establishment, the only one of its kind in Europe, does not have a bullying culture, but in fact turns teens from zeros to heroes The Sun was given unique access to the boot camp which is a hive of activity. Teen soldiers clambered up totem poles blindfolded, sat cross-legged with SA-80 rifles discussing an attack While other students busied themselves in English and maths lessons But the strict war school makes no bones about the core skills it is passing on. I and a pitch black swimming pool, only illuminated by pulsing strobe lights and glow sticks, teenagers in combat gear are swimming lengths with a Bergen and rifle. As they swim, the gory opening scenes of Saving Private Ryan are blared out and projected onto the back wall. Scenes like this have prompted some pressure groups to accuse the army of recruiting child soldiers, even though no one deploys until they turn 18 But recruits like Killian Murphy, 17, from Birmingham, who dreams of joining the ranks of the rifles, disagree He said, my mates back home are doing nothing, going to college two days a week and sitting around But we're getting paid, and we're getting a job for life. And Louise McDonald, 16, from Glasgow, far prefers this boot camp to college or school, saying, I'm really into sports, I do boxing and taekwondo, and I wanted to do something that would push me and better me. This has been brilliant for that, the education is so much better too, I'm not sitting in a class with 40 others. Unlike school or college the class size is at Harrogate, which boasts an annual intake of around 1,000 boys and girls, are around 10 strong The students get qualifications in maths, English, it and driving theory, while being prepared for phase 2 training with their chosen unit Boys and girls are housed in separate locked barracks that no one is allowed their mobile phone during the long days of training Top brass say they are delivering leaders for the next generation of soldiers. Base commanding officer Lieutenant Colonel Richard Hall said, For many, it's their second chance, it's their second bite at the cherry, to gain an educational qualification for whatever reason they were unable to attain in their school system. For the military, it's what we want, the education they receive here just unlocks their learning and lights a fire they have never had lit for them before. And Lieutenant Colonel Hall is adamant bullying has been stamped out, adding, I am really confident the environment here is free from bullying, harassment and discrimination It is my number one priority as I go to make sure the environment these junior soldiers go through offers that to them He said the permanent staff, many battle-hardened soldiers, are handpicked for teaching under 18s and get special extra training before starting at Harrogate.
The base's own regimental sergeant major Alex Donaldson was one of the first teens to pass out from the college in 1998 after he joined up aged 16. He insisted recent controversies over soft advertising campaigns, encouraging potential recruits it was okay to be gay, Muslim and cry, had not created a snowflake generation. He said, I'm not familiar with the snowflake, I think that adverts are really good. If you think about to the Royal Marine adverts with 99.9% .9 need not apply, well they didn't apply because they thought they couldn't achieve that. The new adverts show we are equal opportunity and everyone can get involved. Lieutenant Colonel Hall added, it is difficult for me to link a snowflake to what I see here in the college and the training that we undertake because the terminology is just worlds apart from what we recognize from our junior soldiers. Junior soldiers can enroll on one-year or six-month courses ready to join their chosen regiment. And they can leave at any point they wish up to the age of 18. We pay for your stories. Do you have a story for the Sun Online News team? Email us at tips at the sun.